Good afternoon, cadets. Today I'll be taking up the chapter Golu grows a nose. Yesterday already we have started the chapter, and we know that there is a curious elephant named Golu. He was very curious and used to ask strange questions to everyone, and everybody was embarrassed by Golu. Golu would ask ostrich. Why don't you fly like other birds? Then he would embarrass hippopotamus and ask him, Why your eyes are always red? So, Golu was asking a lot of questions and all the birds and animals in the jungle were afraid of him. One day, he asked the manna, What does the crocodile have in dinner? And poor manna, she did not have any answer. So casually she told, go to the Limpopo river and find out. But Golu did not take it casually. Golu thought that it was a good idea that he would go himself and find out what the crocodile has in dinner. And Golu packs some items and leaves. And on the way, he meets the python and the python also does not know the answer, what does the crocodile have in dinner. So, Golu is off to Limpopo river. Finally, Golu reaches the Limpopo river. And then we understand that Golu sees a log of wood. But actually, it was a crocodile. And he asks the crocodile, that have you seen a crocodile and the crocodile understood that Golu has never met a crocodile and it was very innocent so he says that he is the crocodile and then he asks so let us resume today's uh, class Golu was afraid but he sat down on the bank and said you are the very person I am looking for so, I am looking for a crocodile and you are here. I am very happy. Please tell me what you have for dinner. Come here little one and I will whisper the answer to you, said the crocodile. And the crocodile was very cunning and with evil intentions. He said to Golu, come here, I will tell you what's my menu for dinner. Golu puts his head down close to the crocodile's snout and the crocodile caught him by the nose. And the crocodile was very wicked and cruel. So, the crocodile instantly caught Golu's nose and started pulling Golu inside the water. I think, said the crocodile, today a baby elephant will be my dinner. So now he told that you are my dinner. Let me go. You are hurting me, Mr. Crocodile, screamed Golu. The python, who had been quietly following Golu, came to the bank and said, If you don't pull as hard as you can, the crocodile will drag you into the stream. So the python had followed Golu to Limpopo river and so the python overheard the conversation and it understood Golu's life is in trouble. So the python told, now don't argue, start saving yourself. So pull yourself hard otherwise you will land in the water and become the dinner of crocodile. So Golu was very afraid and now he understood that his life is in danger. Golu sat back on his little haunches. So Golu was sitting on his haunches. So we should know the meaning of haunches.
here i would like to give you an assignment you should all draw an elephant everybody loves to draw so you have to draw an elephant and then make or identify the different parts of the elephant so haunches means a fleshy part of the hip and the buttocks when we sit in a position with the help of our means the elephant sits with the help of its four legs and then it forms a fleshy part of the hip and the buttocks that is known as the haunches and now the elephant was pulling and pulling and the crocodile slipped into the water and the water became more muddy and there were great sweeps of his tail and he pulled and pulled that is what was happening so here is an elephant you can draw and those who are unable to draw they can sketch or they can uh, what you call trace an elephant but you have to identify the parts of all animals uh, elephant's body now the fight has become tough and the python coiled himself around golu's stomach and said let us pull harder so golu dug all his four legs in the mud and pulled the nose kept on stretching now golu's evolution has started this small boot shaped nose has become longer and longer and it was stretching at each pull the nose grew longer and longer and it hurt golu now the nose became 5 feet long and it was free at last there was a great tussle and fight and finally somehow golu saved his nose but what was it it became longer and longer ultimately 5 feet long golu sat down and thought that in 2 days everything will be perfect the bleeding will stop and his uh, trunk will become into the boot shaped nose everything it thought and he wrapped the nose in a big banana leaf and was sitting very sad he was sitting on the grassy limpopo river so that his nose would cool and became become a bulgy small nose golu sat there for 2 days waiting his nose to cool and to shrink so the nose became cool it stopped bleeding but it did not shrink that was the problem so at the end of the second day also the nose was in the same position so golu was upset suddenly a fly came and stung golu on the shoulder and it bit golu and golu lifted this long nose and hit the fly dead so that was the advantage number 1 so the python understood the psychology and the mental condition of golu so the python thought i have to help golu to become more confident so he told see now the fly sat on your shoulder and you lifted this big nose and killed it so there is advantage of the long nose if you have boot shaped nose you cannot uh, hit the fly so that is advantage so your nose is not a waste it is a blessing you could not have done it with a small nose then he further motivated uh, golu and said try and eat a little now so start eating let me see how you will eat golu put out his trunk and plucked a large bundle of grass so golu took a large bundle of grass dusted it 
and put into his mouth. So if he had a boot shaped nose, he cannot do all these things. He cannot remove the dust. He cannot stuff into his mouth. So the python slowly told, see, advantage number two, you have a long trunk. Then you can pluck a large amount of grass, dust it, and then you can stuff it into your mouth. So this is the second advantage. You can even hit a fly. Then you can stuff a bundle of grass into your mouth. And look at the sun. The sun is very hot. You would love to have bath. And when you get into the water and you want to spread the mud over your body with this long trunk, you can do that also. So the trunk has many advantages. Golu scooped up some mud from the bank and slapped it on his head. Advantage number three, hissed the python. You could not have done it with a small nose. Thank you, Mr. Python, said Golu gratefully. I will remember all these and now I will go to my family. So, the python helped Golu to become confident again. So, he was very happy that though he felt that he, he, he has lost his beauty, now this long nose is not looking good, I was handsome with my small boot nose. But when the python told the advantages of the long trunk, Golu was very happy and he felt, yes, this nose has lot of advantages. And he decided to go home and meet his family. So in today's part, I told you how innocently Golu reached the Limpopo River and had mistaken a log of wood and it was really a crocodile and the crocodile's evil intention. The crocodile asked Golu to come closer and then to, uh, he caught hold of Golu's boot-shaped nose and there was a tough fight and how the python understood the evil intentions of the crocodile and the python uh, suggested an idea that he will coil around Golu and then pull and both of us will try to save Golu's small nose. But uh, uh, the crocodile also tried its best. It was good luck that Golu could save his now uh, this is a small boot shaped nose which had become a trunk. So in the fight, Golu's small boot shaped nose became five feet. Now, after uh, what you call uh, this uh, fight, when the nose became long, Golu became very upset. Golu was very beauty conscious. Golu thought that he was looking very handsome in that uh, uh, boot shaped nose uh, and now see how I have become ugly with this long five feet long nose. So the python understood everything that Gulu does not like this trunk. So what did the python do? Python tried to tell him there are many advantages of this nose or the trunk. You can hit a fly dead, you can uh, uh, slap a, a mud on uh, your head and everywhere and you can eat with the help of the trunk. So slowly our Golu got adjusted and understood that the trunk had a lot of advantages and he thanked the python and decided to go home and back to his family. Somebody can tell me the moral of the story? 
Yes. The moral, the moral of the story is a curiosity is good, but the curiosity can lead to danger. The another moral of the story in the second part of the story, it tells that we should not trust everyone. The girl who was so innocent that he trusted even a crocodile. After the crocodile was pulling his nose out and telling him, "Oh, can't be. You are hurting me. Leave me like that." Yeah. This so, is the moral of the story. Yeah, we learn two things from the story. That curiosity is a good characteristic in every individual, but it leads sometimes to danger. as the character of golu golu was a innocent uh, tiger a uh, uh, elephant and uh, in the jungle he used to ask lot of questions to just uh, satisfy his curiosity that was okay that why the ostrich is not flying or why hippopotamus has a, a red eyes that is okay but uh, his going to limpopo river and to find out uh, what a crocodile has in dinner was dangerous because he did not know even the appearance of a crocodile and accidentally he met a crocodile and somehow he saves his life we come to know then the second one is a very very li- important life lesson that we should not trust everyone why because everyone is not like us so innocent people they may f- trust anyone easily and then they become victims of evil minded and cruel people in the story golu was a very innocent elephant and he wanted answers to various questions in the jungle he was asking and everybody took it lightly and they did not know the answer they did not do anything and they left but this crocodile when he understood that golu was a very innocent uh, elephant he tried to take advantage of golu and wanted to eat golu as his dinner and there we see that after a tough fight with the crocodile golu somehow saves his life so it is a life lesson everybody should understand that we should not trust anyone easily we should take our own time know the person or in the story as animals closely and then only we should trust sometimes we may land trusting a wrong person and every time we don't meet a python who will save our life so it's a good lesson given by to us so the conclusion of golu grows a nose is that curiosity is definitely a good characteristic in any person but it can lead to disastrous consequences what is consequences no consequences means result so you should have curiosity but sometimes it may become disastrous for you and that is not a very nice thing which will happen to us so golu gurus panos is a very interesting chapter because we learned what is evolution a bulgy shaped nose of golu how it became a trunk during the intense struggle of pulling and pushing the nose of golu grows very long ultimately golu comes to realize the dangers of trusting strangers so in the process of evolution that boot shaped uh, nose becomes a trunk but golu understands the dangers of trusting strangers strangers may sometimes cause irreparable losses and sometimes uh, we cannot recover from it so we should always 
what you call take time and know a person and then trust a person thank you